Hi, I'm Marcus, and I'm learning Rust by going through the project order problems. Today is problem number 10. So problem 10 is finding the sum of primes. Uh, the example they give is below 10, uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, sums of 17. And our goal is to sum all primes below 2 million. Uh, we've already done the majority of this work in an uh, earlier one. We have a library in primes. Uh, and we already have a function find primes which will find all the primes less than a number. So this one will be a pretty pretty quick one. Let's uh, init the problem. And let's dive in. All right, source main. Let's stub it out here. And then Euler number 10. And so for our library, we want to edit the cargo file and specify our dependency. So it's me the primes library, and then we just tell it the path. And so when I go up a directory, uh, go up a directory into the primes folder. And you can see that's true. We're in this directory. If we go up a directory, primes is there. So the library is there. All right. And then inside of here, we want to use that library. Uh, let's do a quick test. Um, uh, we'll do a function, sum primes, and we'll just pass that into a number. And we'll return the number. And so let sum equal, let's be mutable. Yeah. Uh, actually, we won't need it mutable, so we'll do this. Watch. There's a so. Um, find primes for the number, and this is in our library. So that gives us a vector of all the primes less than that number. So now we want to, this is a vector we can, is a summation function on an iterator, iterator. So we can just do that. And then we'll let our sum be u64 like that, and return that number, all right? So then we will write a test, function test sum of primes, assert that sum primes of 10 equals 17. All right, run our test, our test passed. So now up here we can do that max equal Let's just do 10,000 print uh, sum equals sum primes max print line QED. All right, run that. And then it sums 10,000. Uh, probably take a while to do under 2 million, but it should be, it's pretty quick for 50,000. This number might get pretty big. Um, we can let it run and see how long it takes. Uh, let's change this. We won't do 2 million because that's the overall answer. We'll just do 1.9 million like that. And we'll run that. You're recording it? Okay, we're back. Um, I let it run for about 10 minutes and it's still going. So I'm going to cancel this out. Um, and then I'm going to do a build here and then I will run the, um, um, I'll run the build, but I don't want a debug build. I just want cargo build ready like prod. Um, <sighs> let's 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 take a look here. Cargo uh, Rust Cargo Prod Build Rust Cargo Prod. 
Maybe you just do cargo. Build. That's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, oh, release. That's it. Aha, I was right. I was right. There was something else. So cargo, build, release. Like that. That should give us an optimized one. Target. There you go. Release. And I'm going to run this one. And see if that is any bit quicker. Oh, pause. Okay, and the optimized one, that only took about three or four minutes. So the target release, other one is going for about 10 minutes and still hadn't found it. And then this one ran for about three minutes, uh, which isn't too bad, I would say. Uh, considering what we, I just looked it up while I was waiting and the, we're about as good as the 1600s, right? So we're finding primes below, um, that's 500,000. Euler actually found himself up to 6.7 million. Um, so I guess we're, we're not too bad. We're in, we're in the 1600s now finding primes. Uh, computers have come such a long way, right? All right. That's uh, number 10, finding the sums of primes uh, below uh, 2 million. So we found the first 2 million primes and then summed them all up. Uh, our answer only found the first uh, 1.9 million, but the uh, changing that would be quite easy to do. Um, thanks so much. Hope it was helpful. Cheers.